Hey, Fisher here. These are my four yo-yo related pet peeves and annoyances. At number four we have walk the dog, specifically being asked by a stranger to walk the dog. I mean this trick is way too iconic for what it's worth and it's really dumb that the most popular trick involves smashing your yo-yo on the ground and potentially scratching it. At number three we have knots. I mean, yo-yos are on a string after all, and anything with a string is going to get knotted at some point. There are two types of yo-yo knots, but for the sake of this list, I'm counting them as one. Axle knots are definitely annoying, but really not that bad, considering that all you need to do is take apart the yo-yo, then reattach the string. There's also square knots along the string. These are generally really not that bad either. But they get tighter and tighter the more you play with the yo-yo. So if you don't immediately notice the knot in your string, you will likely need a string replacement. At number two, we have replacement bearings, glue, response pads, etc. All of these are things you need to either maintain your yo-yos in good condition or fix them if they break. I've been yo-yoing for close to six years now. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my attempts at your crazy challenges. I am very much still working on a decent collection of parts, lube, you know. So I guess this is less of a pet peeve and more of just a mistake to avoid. Say you're new or relatively new to yo-yoing, then yeah. Stock up on replacement everything. Number one goes to dinging. Right here I've got a small pile of dead yo-yos that are stripped on the inside and just never will go back together. It's just an awful feeling when you drop a lot of money on a yo-yo only to smash it on the concrete later. I severely damaged my soul talking about all these annoyances and pet peeves of mine. So be sure to drop a like because each like equates to 2% of my soul back.